idea for a great business. Harris okay? Teeters has, and some Kroger's have, she goes, Michelle said, yep, Harris Teeters and some Kroger's have bars in them. <laughs> I've never heard of such. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> real social scene, you know. Well, what so what that? do you got in that cart? Oh, well, come on over here, honey. All right, let me let me give you another one of my visions. Okay, okay what's your vision? I'd like to start a chain of bars called the Dead Dog Bar. The Dead Dog Bar. And I'd like to put them in funeral homes. Okay. Oh my God. Now I just want y'all to just think oh, about. Oh, I'm hearing th you out. Yeah, just think about this. I mean, it's such a missed opportunity <laughs> to have a bar in a funeral home because you know. Everybody's sitting around. They're like, "Hey, you got a mint, piece of chewing gum, whatever, you know." And and uh, you know, some people just go to the funeral home to eat the damn food that people bring, because there's gonna be that one person that just you know orders seven platters of those uh, funeral sandwiches, you know. And uh, funeral sandwiches. You know, and and so right off of the cafeteria there, we wouldn't even have to have food because everybody else is gonna bring food. And we could build the, the dead dog bar right there because it's such a missed opportunity to, to <laughs> you know, go in there. And then we, you know, they get a little, we could sell it to the funeral home because if they got a few drinks in them, they might go ahead and buy their caskets and stuff. And, and you can sell funerals uh, ahead of time. Well, you know, Turner Funeral Home used to be a country place restaurant. Well, there you go. See, so I, right I just think it's a, another it. missed opportunity. You know. Oh my goodness! I've never heard of such. <laughs> we'll call it the Dead Dog Bar, hmm. and we'll be known. We could start in this town and just move on up into Knoxville and just kind of go into different funeral homes. It's a great business because people are dying to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're rotten. You're rotten. I never heard of such. Uh, That's how my mind works. It's always working on the next big thing. I think I missed. A, I think I missed something here, Verona. You said that's correct. Amber has her certificate of what? I, I'm I'm lost a little bit. Uh, huh? Okay. All right. If it's an Irish funeral home, you'd be all set. That's what Mo said. Hey, there you go. <laughs> See, Mo's on board. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What could possibly go wrong? We have that hanging over the bar. What could possibly go wrong? I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're a mess. That's well, I mean, listen, it, it's hard to get people to come out to the funeral home. They're like, okay, listen. Well, see. <sighs> Maud died. We got to go to the funeral home. Oh, damn it. You know, the game comes on Thursday. I don't care. We're just going to go by and make an appearance. You know, there for a while they had drive through funeral homes. What? Yeah, well, yes, you, I do remember. You remember that? that, where you could drive through the drive-through and just view them, you know, throw some money in the tip jar and go on. I'm sorry, what? Go on over to Captain I, D's and I eat. I do not recall this in my life. Oh yeah, here. It, you it, know what I'm talking Chattanooga. about, right? Yeah, this was a big deal. They may still have it out there. I don't know. I think it's a great idea too. I don't too. think we ever had one here though. No, we never. Not I in mean, the South. But, but That's blasphemy to have a drive-through funeral home. That's what I was like. But you put what a bar are you in talking it. About? Everybody's cousin will come to the funeral home. Oh, okay. Drinking and driving. That's it. Oh, and then we could have that like a great idea. We could have that girl walking around, you know, with the Polaroid camera, get everybody's picture, you know. Listen, this is a great opportunity since all y'all here to you never know when you go you know, one of you might not make it next time. Let you won't get your picture taken, it's only twenty dollars. Get a few drinks in them, we sell them back to them at the door. They can't get out. They can't get out till they buy the buy the picture. Now in Jasper, Georgia, there is a funeral home that actually has the marquee that has the name of the deceased person yeah. on the marquee. On, it, on yeah. the marquee. Now you could also put your beer specials on there as well. Yeah, that's right. Two. Uh, Who's happening today? Yeah, right. yeah. Gladys Tidings is laid out tonight at between five Parlor and eight. seven. Happy yeah. hour starts at five fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Parlorade, be there. Tall yeah, boys. That's right. Tall, tall boys. Tall boys. Uh, two for seven. <laughs> two, two for seven. Right. Two for seven. P yeah. P R tall boys. Two for seven. Yeah, I mean, there would be a time where people are saying, "Listen, well, we want to get in on that happy hour time for for Mama to be laid out there. What, you know, how do we get into that?" People would pay more money to funeral home to have people laid out at that during at that time. Yeah, you know, time. You'd have yeah. people yeah, coming I'm in. I'm sure that there's a lack say, of people coming for viewings at two. So that's right. you throw that out there and here they come. Oh, well, yeah, we could do uh, dollar off well drinks between uh, two and four. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. People off the street would be coming in and they'd go, so how did you yeah. know Uncle Alex? Well. And, he was, and they'd go, well, I, I really didn't know him. I'm here for the two toilets. <laughs> That's right, because and this is how we'd sell it to the funeral home. Because you know, listen, you guys have a, you guys have problems getting getting a good crowd. Okay, if somebody's popular, they're gonna have a good crowd. But you ain't selling no business. If we can get them to come in here and sit down, you can come around and and, and get out of that suit. All right. I, I don't think this is gonna fly in the south, honey. Oh, are you kidding me? If it'd work anywhere, it'd work right here. <laughs> we'll open our first one in Birmingham. <laughs>